I'd say we've got a couple of cup finals to go. Not literally in the literal sense. We have a round of 16 and a semi-final second leg both today. As we sit outside of the top four. Something needs to change here at Barca. As Welcome back guys to episode number nine of this long season. Season number three that is of the FIFA 22 rebuild of Barcelona. And it's definitely a rebuild now as spoiler alerts for the last episode. But of course subscribe down below and make sure you can keep up to date with this series. If of course you want to as excuse me a little burp. We're jumping straight into today. Fifth position five points off of Granada who are fourth and Bilbao. So we've got two teams that could potentially bottle it as we've got a huge day today. Jumping, like I said, literally head first into this one. Valladolid away, if I said that right even. Then we've got a week's break before Atletico Madrid, which we will play. 56 points they sit on. Huesca away in the second leg, which I think we'll play to try and get ourselves over the line in. Then we have Espanyol and then we have BVB, where we're 3-0 up. So two second legs where we do hold healthy leads, but still want to make sure we keep them. It's Valladolid. Oh, it's away from home against 20th side in the division. I'm going to say I've got faith still to simulate this, but you know what it's like when you play these lower teams. It's always a pain as Ter Stegen's in goal. It's a full-strength team. Mazarawi, Delic, Araujo, both 88-rated, both 24-year-old now. With QQA still at left back. We've got Busquets, De Jong and Gonzalez still in the midfield. Whilst we're in this injury crisis. And uh, Rafinha, Depay and Ansu Fati making up the forward line. So, can we get the simulated win? They have got a fully fit team, however. And we lose 3-2. Of course we do. I'm really not surprised with that one. Of course we do. Bottom of the league, Gassama, De Jong, Tony Villa. Gassama again and Memphis with just a consolation. We've got something wrong when we play these smaller teams. We seriously do. And of course, no disrespect meant to Valladolid as we drop to 6th. Could potentially go 7th. It's not even Champions League football we're thinking about now. It is just getting into Europe, really. Oh my days. We're still in the Champions League, of course. If we win that again, we do go into the Champions League next year. But that's a big ask. Even though we did win it last year, we won the league last year. And look how far off we are now. How many defeats have we took? 25 games in. We've took 10 L's. One draw. We've lost well over the games we should have done. If we would have got some draws as well in there, we'd be like 11th. Levante have lost less games than us. That is shocking. We've only lost four more games than bottom of the league, Betis. That is not good for Barcelona. 15 points off Real and they still have a game in hand, so... Yeah, God, I, I mean, the quadruple's mathematically still possible, but really it's not possible. And judging by the comments that you guys are leaving, you probably do at this moment in time, with the people who have commented do want another season of this one, so I'm happy to deliver on that promise, as I'm going to change a couple of things around for this next lineup. Villanueva being the main one, Hannibal can drop out we're gonna put where's he gone Busquets on the bench this game because he is getting a bit old and Dest I'm having problems within this squad I think it's really his time up so I think he does leave in the next window Balde can try and grow a little bit more as the backup left back as yet just that one change Villanueva in he's very good in game for some reason and his stats show that he shouldn't be as we've still got three weeks without Pedri seven without Gavi and Danny Olmo, six months. He won't be playing this season. And that is it. It looks like our squad's very thin at the moment. So, yeah, I do want to make more signings next season 100% if we're going to go if we're going to go for the quadruple in the next year, even though it's a big step because we're eighth at the moment, going into a tired Madrid side. Let's please win this. We did lose the reverse fixture, but we're at home for this one. As Jan Black still in goal. Sergio Roberto, Laporte, Condogbia at centre-back, and Cooper Miners push to the left with Carrasco at right mid. He plays everywhere apart from his left mid position. De Frutos is signed from Levante. Robertson still in the middle of the park with Marino on the left. João Felix, 90 rated now. And Antoine Griezmann. He scores against us again, I swear down. I am not going to be a happy bunny as Griezmann picks a ball out there into Marino. Ball over the top looking for João Felix. Gonzalez. Is that handball against us? It is somehow. I don't understand that one. And five minutes in, they've got a beautiful free kick opportunity. Griezmann 
gets the ball and scores the free kick. Oh, is it going to be one of them days again? I think it might be. A handball free kick in a dangerous position and Griezmann hits the post and scores. That is a wonderful free kick as the ex-player of course gets it against us. Of course he does. He was the winner of the first leg and again we seem to be in trouble. Rafinha straight away on the ball. We haven't even got the ball to our attackers yet in this one. I don't think we touched it much to start off with as Fatty caught a little bit there. Should be a yellow card or a warning as Frankie de Jong get that through to Raf. Depay is in front of him. We'll go out wide again. Mazarawi in a good position. Got a man at the back post. It's easy for Oblak. Already fighting for a way back into this game as Araujo into Nico Gonzalez. Villanueva finds a good ball down the line. This one and Ansu with a good touch. A good poke in front of him. Can we try and cut inside? I'm going to go for the spin. It's worked out in the front post. Memphis Depay if he's onside. He was and he has missed it. Need to be scoring them opportunities as we've got men in the box. Ronnie Araujo being one of them at the front post. That is a good delivery, and it was good. Ronnie Araujo, it's been a while since he's scored. Back on level terms. Nice to see him get it. Corner kicks back to perfection. Frankie de Jong, brilliant in swinger, and the header was even better. Mikel Marino threw this gap onto Griezmann. They're going to try and instantly reply to Stegen with a save. Defence just gone missing. Araujo scored. And then gone for a run up front, it seems like, as they have the corner ball this time to Stegen. That should be yours. He came for it, didn't get there. And he's made an excellent goal line save to make up for his error because he should have got that ball in the first place. Struck the crossbar in that as well. So, please, don't let this be a game of corners as he catches that one. Villanueva, you're in front, mate. I'll try and throw it out to him, but that is a poor throw. Had too much on it as Cooper Miners running through. Carrasco, these, of course... Trying to keep pressure on our rivals, Real, at the top of the table. They're two points behind them, but every game we need to win ourselves as Rafinha to run forward into this little gap that he's got right here. Keep on going, Raf. Keep on going. He's going to cut inside. Now he is. That's a good cut inside. Goes for an in-swinger, but can't do it. Getting a tad closer as Ronnie Araujo, Frankie de Jong. Raf through the gap, but Memphis making a good move. Villanueva. This is good play. Ansu Fati on the angle. Brilliant save, Jan Oblak, as we've got a corner ball again. We might as well try the same again. Ronnie Araujo, it's him again. It's landing towards him. I don't know how he's missed that, and he's handled it. Almost half-time, let's look at the possession stats. I think they've just might have gone off the screen when I say that. 80% to us. Absolutely unbelievable, and it's 1-1, and they scored first as Memphis with the ball into Frankie de Jong, looking for Rafinha, looks a good ball. But the half-time whistle's gone. At least it's a decent performance. As at the break, it's 1-1. Just demand a little bit more from the boys, I think, though, as Antoine Griezmann. He goes back into Robertson. Rafinha to jump in there and get the block as Nico Gonzalez around the corner. Villanueva. He drops it off to Ansu Fati. Runners in front. Villanueva is the one who's found the gap. The youngster. Oh, and he can't get it past all black. That was a chance for his... Second Barca goal. He's actually scored in the simulation, but it would have been good against Athleti, the one to put us in front. So we've got to make a run to the near post. It's Delic this time. Wins his header. Two or black. So we are still fighting Rafinha with a good step to the side. Here he goes. We're up for this in the second half. Keeping the possession stats going. Tries to cut away from Roberto. Got to be a foul. And oh, almost curled into the back of the net as we'll take this. Decent position. Let's just put it on the penalty spot. Delic can run closer. He can get on that as well. Heads it into Rafinha. Oh, he just couldn't take it under control. I think he was offside anyway as Patrick Sheik comes on for them. De Frutos with it back in the centre of the park. Laporte out wide to Roberto. Just keep on chasing them. Don't let them find a goal because they've really not been in, in the game at all. Even though they did score first as Rafinha. To run it again. I just love this guy. When he gets his head down, he is a steam train. Gets it through to Memphis. Cuts inside of the defender. Memphis to Pai with a good chance to score and puts it in the roof of the net. 2-1 on the hour mark. And we lead against Atletico Madrid at Camp Nou. Can this be a season? Well, end to the season. Turning moment and defying moment, of course, at that. Brilliant goal past Jan Oblak. Back on the score sheet as Rafinha. Put that through the gap onto Frankie de Jong. Good back heel. Can we get playing now? Ansu supposed to come off, actually, after the goal. I don't know why it's not took him off. He should be going off for Eze. 
But not yet, apparently. It's Griezmann to run at us right here. Put a ball across the field. Cucurella with an easy read right there. And he'll pass it inside to Villanueva. What a game he is having. As Ansu into Memphis. This is a good move. Frankie de Jong over to Rafinha who will run onto the end of this. Take it down. Edge of the box. Frankie de Jong onto Ansu. Can't strike. And we could potentially be gifting our rivals the title with this game if they keep the form up. Real. As Atletico dropping points of course to us. If we get it as get up Araujo please quickly. De Frutos with the ball. We've made the changes as well, so at least they've come onto the field as Kukurea. Good tackle, that one. And he's going to keep on running forward. Ize down the line. I think this is the first time we've seen Unyal on the field in a game, apart from a simulation. And he should have had a goal there. Good save, Jan or Black, but still should have done something better. As I'm thinking about a short corner, maybe. But Ronnie Rao is in a really good position. He's got this little gap to move into. And he should be winning that. And he does win that. And we will win against Madrid. It's a brilliant header. He's got a brace, has the centre-back. The big Uruguayan settling it. A big three points against the team we have usually struggled against. Atletico Madrid steps off into the gap. Oblak's positioning for a 92-rated keeper is everywhere. 3-1. Game should be done and dusted as Carrasco with a back heel onto Griezmann. He's going to in-swing one in. Kikirea with a head away. Handball. Handball sums their second half up really and the game. The scored against the run of play in the first half as Robbo wins that. But we win the game. Three points, three goals. A very good win against a big rival here in España. Beautiful stuff. Great way to lead us into, of course, these games that we have as a return from injury. That soon? Pedri's already back. He isn't due back for quite a while. I mean, I'll take it. I'm going to stick him on the bench, 100%. And with that, I think I may end up actually simming this semi-final against Uesca. Focus on the league, because I desperately want to be in the Champions League, despite this being, of course, a trophy opportunity. Copa de España. We have won it before, still though it is a risk, and I think I'll play the strongest team for this risk. Busquets, no I don't want to change his position, I want to put Gonzalez there, not Delict. don't be stupid, as yes he can sit right there, any more changes? I might give Ize a start instead of Ansu, stick him on the bench, Lenglet instead of Dilic, because Araujo scored a brace. And I think we'll go with that. Dest can stay in the reserves. I'm not happy with how he's complaining. And Hannibal can jump on the bench. Actually, no, he can't because um, Ilias is unhappy. So I want to make sure he's on the bench as we should be rounding this out. How far is it off the next game? 28th and 3rd. So we've got five days rest. Not too bad as I'm going to look a very silly man now if we bottle this. Gone a little bit defensive as well to say that they need to get back into this game as a 3-0 win. Convincing Memphis with a goal, Frankie de Jong and Ansu off the bench. 6-1 on aggregate, sees us into the final. I can just give you a guess who I think we'll have. It's either Atletico or Madrid. I don't know which teams are still in it though. As um, 46 points and 52 Granada are on. Jeez, we do need to play these league games. I want to be a Champions League team. No Europa League for Barca, that is shameful. And after the cup game, it's back to the full strength one. Had a bit of Sean Dyche in my throat right there. Delict returns, Villanueva and Ansu. Pedri still on the bench. Busquets, Ize, Lenglet and uh, Ilias falls to the reserves as Neto is going to operate in. Very nice to see. That is the team. We've promoted a youth player for the board objectives as well. Sierra, a right back just because we're slipping with it. And let's go here into the derby against Espanyol. It isn't made any easier by being away from home as Bertrand is their goalkeeper. Nuhan Perez, Jill Garcia and Max Ahrens is a good signing at left back. Lozano sitting with Veretout, Vargas, Berardi and Zerkowski. That's a decent little midfield with Wahi up front. These will be fighting in the words of Chris Kamara like Beavers. If you know, you know because these are in 16th in the league trying to regain their status. They did go down in real life, I think two or three seasons ago, but bounced back up as Memphis to Pai. The ball into Villanueva. Frankie de Jong round the corner to Raf. We're on to every first ball, and Bertrand has to pull off the first save of the game. And Rafinha going to try a turn. Oh, that is beautiful from Raf as he's got a man in front of him. Nico Gonzalez making the run forward. Gonzalez! What an assist. 
It's a good finish by the youngster who's playing in a further forward position. Oh, no, he isn't. It's CDM, isn't it? Villanueva's playing, so a very good run from him, unsurprisingly. Or surprisingly, but unsurprisingly, if you're still with me. A brilliant assist by Rafinha, who is just the goat of this team. Amazing stuff. 1-0 up in Derby Day. Love that. As Veritaut with some stepovers. Are they going to try and get straight back into it? They're not when Ronnie Araujo is around as Memphis Depay steps away. Villanueva gets that ball out of his feet. Frankie de Jong onto Raf again. Look at the space he's got to run into. Look at the gaps they have got in their defence. Rafinha for one of his own. Brilliant save, but only as far as Memphis. And it hits Paul Lozano, who got in there with a block. He's angry with himself as well as Memphis. Really blaming himself. Maybe he's trying too hard to replicate the first season that he had. As Ronnie Araujo with the header. And just saved as well. We are literally all over them though. As we'll try Ronnie again. That was a good header, so we'll go with him again. Not marking up properly. He gets his head on it again and off the top of the bar. And Vargas with the ball here. Just a little bit of time to go before half time, and I won't lie. Should be a lot more than one. It's been a good performance as Ansu into Villanueva. He waits for Memphis to make a good run and he can just pick out the best passes. Memphis to buy back post. Rafinha was never missing, was it? 2-0 on Derby Day. We'll celebrate in front of their fans. Rafinha being a bit of a shithouse right there. As it's two. I ask for another goal and we deliver. Memphis to Pie, Villanueva and Rafinha. What stars they have been in this game. Because I don't think any changes really that I need to make at the break as well. 2-0. Keep on going. So here we go. Mateus Delic into the side. Ronnie Raujo. Nico Gonzalez. Around to Ansu Fati. And he's going to get a little bit of a run on right here. He's going to cut back. Oh, two slide tackles. Two men sent. Villanueva almost got the pass through. And Bertrand with the ball kicked up fielders. Busquets reconsidering his retirement, even though he signed that one-year contract extension. There's Memphis Depay on it here. He's going to try and just hook that into Ansu. Gets away from his man a little bit. Nico Gonzalez. Frankie de Jong's going to try one from range and find the back of the net. Captain's input. What a finish from the world's best midfielder. No one can change my mind. What a finish this is. Just takes an instep. And releases it with his left foot bearing in mind. Absolutely phenomenal. And it is 3-0 on Derby Day. Let's have another look. Oh, keeping no chance. And still I feel like we could get more as Vargas. Spreads this out wide to Zerkowski. Maserawi coming across. I'm going to put Balde on soon. Give Cucurella a rest. However, that is a good shot. And Enes Yunel will come to the field as well. Get a bit of game time. The 80 rated forward would like to improve him as the headers won by them. Off the line as well. Do not give them a chance to get back into this one. I thought that was one of our players. It's not. Sneeko MR has now Wahi through the middle. We've just committed a little bit too much and brilliant save to Stegen. They're going to get a little bit of a run in the game as we've made the changes. Players adapting so fair enough as he's off the line again from Rafinha. He is just everywhere. Defending, attacking. Our best player is Villanueva running away from his man a bit there. Enes Yunel through. Villanueva with good eyesight to pick that one out. Just unsuccessful. However, Unyal has fought for it back. Very good fighting. Now on to Ansu. Tackles come in. Still managed to keep it away around the corner. Gonzalez, Villanueva. Round again, please. There we go. Balde, pull that back. Almost hit Raf. Getting closer to a fourth though as Frankie de Jong. Just puts that over the top onto Ansu Fati into the middle. Balde crossing. No handball. We'll still keep on going though. As Balde winning it back and winning a corner. I'll take that from him. Very good work. Don't say it's a goal kick. I thought it were a goal kick then. And we'll go with Ronnie Araujo once more because he's doing well at the moment. Of course, he's scored quite a few of these. So he gets beaten in the air. Villanueva to tap that down into Rafinha though. Still falls back to Villanueva. Rafinha. Tries to return it, and still we do keep the ball. This is a good passage of play. We've kept it for ages. De Jong across. Villanueva cuts inside. Goes for a strike. Frankie, get out the way. And the youngster coming off for now is we're going to give Pedri a little bit of game time, of course. Built him back up, as that was obviously a foul. And Frankie De Jong to drop it off into Nico Gonzalez. Through the gap, Ansu Fati. He's speeding away. Can we get four? Good save, Bertrand. Knocks it away at his near post. I'm going to whip it in for anyone this time. And it still hits Ronnie Araujo. 
who just puts it over. Yunal is quite a tall player as well. Got to consider that as he's underneath that one. Hits Savenson in the face. And even though it's only three when I think it's by far a more than a 3-0 game, I'll take this as even Ansu pulling out the rainbow flicks. Frankie de Jong into Yunal who's looking for a goal of his own. Bertrand can only put it out for a corner. These look in trouble of relegation, I must say that. When Valladolid's beating us, and these aren't, as a volley from the edge just stings the gloves of the keeper. They are in trouble, in my opinion. 3-0 away win. We continue the league form and continue fighting for the Champions League spots. Straight onto the Champions League. Midweek as well, but we hold a 3-0 lead. And Ansu Fati now, he's an absolute tank. 21-year-old, 90 rated. 290 rated in the attack now, and we still can't do too great. Of course, Ferran left, but we replaced him with Rafinha, who's been a revelation since he's joined the club. So I don't know what's gone wrong, really, this season. Maybe the injuries in midfield, I don't know. I don't know. As despite players being tired, despite everything, we're going to go full strength into the next one. We can take Fatty off, we can take Gonzalez off in-game, because I want them to start. I want to continue this form, despite our three-goal lead as well. Just need to keep on going as Pedri is the only change straight into the lineup. That's a risk in itself because he isn't really sharp as... I'm pretty sure we do have a break, don't we? No. Actually, we play at the weekend. But still, Alaves can start next episode by playing that one as... Come on. Let's get a result against Dortmund second time round. And the team that has travelled the black and yellow army. I'm going to see it the second time round. Don't think there is many changes. Kubo on the bench. Kobel, Bellerin, Lamormad, Hummels and Neva, Palacios, Arter and Belligum starts this one with a Campos, a Tavio and Guiri. It is very similar to the last one, however, I do recognise that. So that's a bad tackle on Nico Gonzalez. The thing I do not want in this game is injuries as Rafinha, good early ball in! Two minutes is all it took for Memphis to pie to score at the back post. Rafinha, beautiful delivery. And it's now for the cushion. Maybe we could have started the reserve team because this is a brilliant start right here at home. Headed in near post. Koble, no chance. And literally they have to score five goals at Camp Nou now. And Bellingham also picks up his booking as Lucas Campos. Don't see how Dortmund have strengthened at all. They seem like a bit of a weaker team to me to previous years. And the Champions League, it is just our competition. Unbeaten in this one, but 10 league defeats, of course. Not ideal, as Frankie de Jong running forward. He's going to continue to go into this gap. Rafinha, we know what magic he can cause. Of course, no magic right there, as De Ligt around the corner. Frankie de Jong, Memphis is through the middle. We're going to opt for Memphis straight away this time. On to Ansu from range a bit. Should have done better. Nico Gonzalez on the ball right here, as he gives the ball out to Frankie de Jong. Into Memphis again. Frankie. We'll go out wide. Rafinha, chance to deliver. That's a decent ball again. Ansu just can't win it, but get up, please. There we go. I'm just worried for injuries in this as Kukurea to run down this line. Puts it into Memphis. Return ball around the corner. Whips in a decent delivery across net. I have no runners at all. That crossing is spectacular today. As Here's Rafinha again. He can deliver a ball. It's another good one. And Ansu, no, this time I think he actually has stayed down. Oh dear, and yet play stopped. Oh, Ansu, 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 Ansu. 90 rated and down. Easy to come on, but I cannot believe that. I really can't. Bellingham out wide into Guiri. Guiri inside Otavio. Bellingham, Bellingham again. Header to Stegen's put it in the back of his own goal. And it is 1 1 on the night. Still don't see why you're celebrating. I'd pick the ball up and get back to the centre circle, but. Hey ho, we move, or should I say they try and move. Straight away they score when one of our most important players goes off the field. Is that a sign? And he is quite injury prone himself. Pedri and Ansu have been terribly injury prone, but I understand Ansu one's a bit realistic because I know he's had quite a few injuries in person in real life as Gonzalez out wide and Cucurella. He's a reliable one, Gonzalez. He's only had one injury, and Frankie, none. As Memphis with a good turnout, and Koble with a stop. A very good one as well, but we do have the corner ball. We'll select Ronnie Araujo to run into a little bit of a gap that he sees us. Headed away by Lenore Mad. He's a, with it down to Dillit. We'll pass this ball around a little bit on the edge. No opportunity for a shot that won't be blocked. As Frankie Dion 
inside. Memphis, Rafinha, good delivery, header one and over. And Gonzalez across the side of the field into Eze. As Eze cuts away, easy as that. As now it's into Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong around the corner. Rafinha with a deep ball into the box again. Memphis trying to stretch for that one, just unsuccessful again as Otavio runs this away. Ball over the top, Araujo all day long. Gonzalez with it back in the centre of the field. Not the best ball out there when we look a little bit panicked. We look a little bit... Just stumble it after that last goal. And I don't really like it. Atur with the ball running through the centre of the field. Gets it through the centre into Bayerin. Palacios to the side. Otavio, a little bit of an angle. Guerri across the box. Half-time whistle kind of has saved us. It is 1-1 at half-time. Still the need four goals, but... We don't look as confident. We don't look as confident as Nico Gonzalez. I should have took off at half-time. But he will be coming off momentarily for Busquets. Because of course of his fitness as Rafinha. Ball round the corner here. Can we deliver an early cross? We do. Not the best. And lucky again as Frankie de Jong reads a pass in the middle. Delic. Busquets. Memphis. Round the corner. And Pedri. Can we feed that through to Memphis again? We do. Memphis to pie out wide. Rafinha. Looking for a bit of an angle. Almost had it. And Rafinha, the pass around the corner. I'm trying to get Frankie de Jong off the field, who's on it right there, for Villanueva. Give him a rest before the next league game against Alaves. As that's a ball into the middle. Memphis tried to spin. Just unsuccessful, but time is running out for Dortmund. That's on our side, at least. As our performances ourselves slipping a little bit. We just need to get his foot on the ball and get playing again. Come on, Pedri. Can he hit that out wide into Rafinha? He can. Brilliant ball over the top to Raf as he's going to do a little shimmy. Use De Jong as the dummy run. Keep on going, Rafinha. Keep on going, Rafinha. Keep on going. Oh, I tried to cut inside. Thought that was an individual goal in the making as Busquets across De Jong. Brilliant turn and pass as Maserawi holds that up in the air. To Pai. Actually made the good option by not jumping. Rather him not get injured than actually score as Memphis to Pai on a turn. Oh, that is beautiful movement. Depay off the bar. What a strike, though. In the mood, just a tad as free kick Villanueva and coming on right now. It's took a while for him to get on, hasn't it? As Busquets heads this away. Otavio off for them. I think they've known that the game is over for a while now. As Villanueva running through, they're still going to attack in. Villanueva, the Argentine, might just go alone with this guy because, of course, not long left. Shoot from range, Villanueva. Oh, not too bad as Kobol saves and the game is over. We're into the quarterfinals of the Champions League after seeing Dortmund off 4-1. Like I said, our first game that we've not won in the Champions League. It's a 1-1 draw, but still 4-1 on aggregate. Very good result and we go through. Let's see our opponents before we round out today. As we are now three points off Granada in the league, so at least we... Closing the gap down from six now to thing it. We have Bilbao as two months for that Ansu. Not great. We have Bilbao in the next episode who are up there. Alaves, of course, to start us off. Champions League not yet announced. So we'll keep simming on. And I'm pretty sure I saw we had Real in the final of the Copa de España. Of course we do. That shouldn't be next time though as match rescheduled. No Serie A loan deal. That is perfect. Not the loan to buy part of it, but... Just alone. Is this the Champions League going to get announced? Please. Can I see who we've got in the next round? It's still not announced. Will it be announced in the standing section? I'm just desperate to see because I've got a good feeling again about this. As no, but we can see United, us, Juventus, Spurs, Liverpool. All these are yet to play. So that's why it's not been announced. But yeah, them are the teams that have gone through so far. No shocks there really. Maybe we're a shock with how bad we're doing in the league. As thank you guys for watching this one. To episode 10 next time out. As yeah, thank you very much. We're on the race to 6k. If you can hit that as soon as possible, it will be amazing. So thank you guys for the support anyway. As it stands, being on 5.6 at the time of this. Almost 5.7. Amazing stuff. So thank you very much. Like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on. Almost forgot that one right there. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care in a bit and peace guys.